it was was this was about 98 98 99 mm-hmm. 2000 mm-hmm. so we form wise guys we, we get a deal these guys happening we down with the murders we do a party a wise guys party they were all there at the party there were some NBA players that was there. Now, you could notice NBA players because, you know, niggas is tall as fuck. Mm-hmm. You know six what I'm five, saying? Six, six. Six, eight, you know what yeah. I'm saying? But, like, and I was a major Celtics fan. And I remember when Paul Pierce, when we drafted him, I was like, oh, hell yeah. Because I followed his career a little bit his last his last years at, at, at Kentucky. Mm-hmm. And I was like, he was, I, I, I was familiar with him. I was happy to have him. I was a major Celtics. Big Patriots, Celtics, Red Sox, Bruins. You know, Boston, you know, home, home, home of the champions, title town. You know. I'm so waiting. We, yeah. So we are proud about our sports, and we support them. I noticed that, okay, there was a fight that took place. So me and my man, Hurst, Hurst the big guy, we standing, say, about 30 feet by the pool tables when it's all happening. So we noticed the niggas jumping on, you know what I'm saying? Now, you know, it's nothing... Fights in Boston happen all the time, especially with sports players. Mo Vaughn got cracked in his head with an ashtray one time. Um, Lawyer Malloy went through some shit up there. I mean, dudes go through shit, you know what I'm saying? Usually over a chick. Nine times out of ten, it's over a chick. Sure enough, this was over a chick. When it happened, I'm noticing a dude beefing. But I didn't, it, like, like it, I guess it was the first time I seen him in, in regular clothes, but he didn't look like Paul Pierce. So I didn't know who it was. Mm. If I would have known it was Paul, I probably wouldn't have went over there and got them niggas up off of him. He was throwing them blows now. Like, there's no question. Like, Paul was throwing blows with niggas, but it was too many niggas. Niggas was coming out the woodwork. And, you know, Boston, I mean, you in your town, that's just how it's going to be. Mm-hmm. I remember the light came on, man, and then the, the last blow hit him, and he kind of went. He was a, he was all in blood, and I still didn't know who it was. Still didn't know who it was. I just got up out of there like everybody else. When I'm running downstairs, I remember now I didn't know who it was then. But Tony Batie, he was our center at the time. That's when we had Antoine Walker, and he was talking to his brother, which I didn't know, but later on, and he was like, "Yeah, it was the made men. It was the made men. It was the made men." So I'm listening to this thing. Everybody's running to the car and shit. So I run to my whip, jump in the bands, bounce out. And um, that's at that point, it was like the police was going crazy because he had been stabbed a bunch of times. This was the, I mean, you see, Boston's funny. Boston don't give a fuck about a regular nigga getting stabbed and everything. But Paul Pierce, oh, he was a different type of nigga. Yeah, they love their sports niggas. Love them. Hate niggas, but love when you play for them. You know what I'm saying? So he was their baby. So I just knew it was going to turn the city up. It was going to be crazy. I already, I already knew once I drove away, once I found out it was Paul Pierce because someone had called and told me, I was like, God damn. And I felt, again, that's when I felt like, fuck. Because if I went over there, I could have. if I knew it was him, I would have went over there and I would have tried to stop it. I, I, I would have. Because any- I knew everybody involved. Mm. You Did know what I'm saying? I knew everybody involved. Come to th- so I bounced to New York. I, I got the fuck out of town. Did you get any hits in? No, no, because I was thirty feet away. I'm I'm sitting there. Look, I'm watching the whole thing. It was the the lights were off, and then the lights came on. And that's when the last blow came. I'm watching the whole. It thing. was the bottle to the head. Yes, the last bottles, blow. punches, knives. I mean, he took a beating, and that's why I'm saying like, you got to give him credit because he he was fighting, but none of his guys jumped in. Now, I know he was there with a couple of guys from his team. None of them dudes jumped in. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, after I found out, I was like, God, it was two things going through my man, my mind. You got to get the fuck out of town because I knew it was going to happen. I knew I was going to get the blame for it. I already knew. Yeah, like I'm blaming you. That's the, that's the consensus. You know what I'm saying? So, so made men, made men. Come to find out when Paul, Paul's in his bed, they think he might die. Mm. They got the book with pictures, they telling him, him, me. Mm. He's like, nah. Then they picked, look, this was crazy. They picked my man Trev, Roscoe, and remember I told you I was standing with a dude over here? Mm. Hearst. And Hearst was nowhere near there. They took 
and they got hers. So we had already bounced to New York. You know, I had a little mansion in Saddle River. We was there. The next day, we had to come right back. Hers had to turn himself in. They wanted me for questioning. There was a whole bunch of crazy shit, and like, Hearst wasn't even over there. So I had to pay for a lawyer for Hearst to go on trial. Hearst almost went to jail for a long time. Like, Roscoe got 20 years and a day behind that shit. Wow. Trev got a bunch of years. Ten. Like seven, Trevor, 10. And Hearst got found not guilty. You know what I'm saying? Had to spend almost like $150,000, a lot of money for that lawyer because Hearst had nothing to do with it. But Hearst right. wasn't, you know what I'm saying? So he was standing, me and her, I'll never forget it. Me and Hearst was standing, and remember, Hearst was one of the main guys on Surrender Records formulating the wise guys. Yeah. He was on staff. So here we are bringing crime down, and then at the party, mm. the craziest shit ever happens. And, you know, immediately, man, I want to do a fucking, because now it's like, everybody's like, yo, made men, I'm on the newspaper, made men did it, made men. And it was fucked up because, you know, when you look on one of the Source Awards, you'll see Trev and Roscoe. I brought them out on stage with me. The man when we had performed at, the, at one of the Source Awards. And Trev and Roscoe came on stage with me and shit. So everybody knew, like, I was affiliated with, with him, but it, I didn't do I wasn't over there beefing, you know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? It, it, it shouldn't have happened. And if, and if I knew that it was Paul, I, I would have tried to go over there to, to squash it because I had that influence where I probably could have. Now, it was over a woman. Let's let let it be clear. It was but, but, over but, but, a chick. We, we, I want to know the story about the, what do you mean over a woman? It was over a chick. It was Roscoe chick. It was Paul trying to talk to Roscoe chick. Roscoe, which, which I, 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 you know, something happened, but it was over Paul trying to holler at Roscoe's chick. That was how, that was that's why, that's why, what happened. Why Roscoe and Roscoe was Paul disrespectful about it? Or Roscoe I don't even know, but you know, you know, I, I looked at Paul when he did the the interview with Matt Barnes and Stephen Jackson. It was the first time I heard him mention it. Since then, me and Paul seen each other, and we and, and it's been cordial. You know what I'm saying? Um, but you know, when I seen the interview, you know. I I was watching it, and I was just like, man, you know, not not saying disappointed, but. What I want to come out of this is to these young guys out here who are playing basketball, when they go in these different cities and these girls are out there, they have to be keep in mind that these girls are connected with guys in the hood. And 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 like these guys in the hood, that's all they got. They babies, mamas, and everything else. When you trying to fuck on one of these girls, you gotta be cognizant of that. You got to be wary of you might be fucking on somebody from that hood's girl mm -hmm. and having problems. So the way you approach a girl, especially at a club filled with a bunch of niggas from the hood, you got to be aware of that. What disappointed you about that interview? Because because I thought that, you know, Paul's an intelligent guy and he seems like a, a real mature guy. We, we never hung out, you know what I'm saying? But I was a fan. And it just I, I just think that, I just think that he should have just said, you know, he should have just kept it real about what happened. What did he say? Well, I mean, I don't remember totally, but I just, okay. I, I know it wasn't, it, 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 it was over a girl and that, and that wasn't the subject. So I don't want, you know what I mean? It was, you know, the chick came with Roscoe, Paul had words with the chick, and next thing you know, a fight broke out. So a fight broke out between him and Roscoe, then everybody else is jumping in. That's just how it is anywhere. If we was in LA and Paul was with a bunch of niggas, then LA niggas would have jumped me or Roscoe, it just that's just how shit happens. You know what I'm saying? But like I said, Paul was throwing him things. There's no question, but but he was trying to holler at a chick that was with Roscoe, my man. And that's how shit happened. Now whether, I don't know what was said to the girl, I don't know what was said, cause I wasn't over there. But I'm saying it wasn't enough for that nigga to get stabbed like that. And it wasn't enough for all that shit to have for these niggas to get all this time. You know what I'm saying? So. If I could have squashed it, I would have. I would have, hundred percent. You know, he said that he. You know, first and foremost, you know, I feel that he could say whatever he want because he got stabbed, almost lost his life. Well, what you mean, say whatever you want? You got to still be. You, see, that's what I'm saying. Got we, stabbed, man. He got stabbed. Yeah, right, OG. right, right. No, but no, but I'm saying. Stabbed eleven times. No, no, no. The bottle. Right, right, my man right. Boston niggas. Right, right, right. <laughs> but you got to be. But you got to keep it one hundred and be like, look. This happened because I was trying to holler at some female okay, that was you gotta you got a like, message. Like I got save it. save the next young nigga that okay. don't know how to carry himself in another city because that's really all it is. Look, uh, look, look. My father told me years ago, graveyards and jails are filled 
with niggas over women. I mean, mm. motherfuckers is dead over broads, man. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, somebody got to be able to say something to you. Avoid that. You don't got to die over a chick. You ain't got to get stabbed up over no... It ain't worth it. You know what I'm saying? There's enough chicks in that party who came by themselves that you could holler at. Mm. Look, when we would go out on tour, I would make sure to tell niggas. And this is where we're going to go with this whole DMX thing because that was over a broad. Another thing, mm. both of those situations was basically over a chick. Over a chick that I had nothing to do with. <laughs> See, I know how to carry myself when I'm in somebody else's town. I'm not going in there trying to bag niggas' chicks. I'm not going in there trying to act like I'm the man. I'm going to try to fit in with the gr grimiest niggas there and smoke a blunt with them mm -hmm. and try to figure shit out. Like, you can't go in there with a bunch of security acting like you the nigga grabbing, knocking niggas' broads, man, because you're going to have problems. I don't give a fuck who you are. You know what I'm saying? I agree. And, 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 I agree. Well, well, you gotta be, you gotta be conscious of that. And if Paul knows that that's what it really was about, then why not really talk about that? Why not really talk about well, this? Maybe I should have, I could have done it a different way. Was he married maybe, at the time? I don't even know. And to me, that's really not, not the point because I'm, I'm not saying it's right. I don't think so. I'm not saying it's right, but I'm saying I'm, I'm just saying like. Uh, gee. No, because you, you said you said earlier you said he got stabbed up. So. He said what he want to say, right? So he probably tight that he got stabbed up and beat up. No, no, no. I and don't think he's like, he's yo, not. I'm not gonna snitch on my. If, if he had a wife, on, if he had a wife at home and he outside, and he's trying to holler at somebody shooting. He's not gonna snitch on himself. On himself. Well, I mean, I mean, mm -hmm. from my understanding, you know, he he pointed them out. You know what I'm saying? Mm. He pointed. And they got time. You know, but we're not looking at Paul as a street nigga. He's a civilian, right. Boston Celtic, and I guess you know he did what he did. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, um, but he pointed them out, and them guys did time. Look, I, I I would love to do a thirty thirty with Paul. You know, because to be honest, to be honest with you, and I'm glad I could say this here. There's so many things that that situation when you look at it that were ironic like here I am they hated me like the the power structure in Boston hated me you know I mean mm -hmm. I beat a fed case up there you know what I'm saying like I, I beat a, took it to trial and won the gang task force could never get me where they want I mean you know they hated me up there I had a name for myself the Boston both main newspapers was dogging me out for years and years since 87 they loved Paul they loved Paul he was the savior. Look, after that, man, he took us one game away from the championship. It's a great story. After all that, the adversity, he took it was one game away from the fucking finals. One game. When Ant, uh, so him and Antoine w w w was killing him that season after that. So it's a crazy story, but I want to show how a racist-ass city would condemn me and big him up when that year, when that shit happened, I, I brought the murder thing down from from 100 to 30 and never got credit for it. And I remember because of that, Boston got a gang of money. Clinton came. They put a brand new fucking um, police headquarters. They got Boston got a lot of money that year because that was the model city from bringing murders down. I did that shit. And then that night at the Wise Guys party, that shit had to happen. It was just too much crazy. I just think that it'll be a good story because a lot of times, People be like, yeah, Benzino did that. But I, they still do that. If people don't like what Paul say, they'll tweet out, man, where's Benzino when you need him? Benzino, you know I'm saying? I hate that shit because I didn't do it. And, and, and I wouldn't have done it. And I would have squashed it and probably saved my niggas from doing a bunch of time and saved Paul from getting stabbed up if I'd have known that that was him. I just didn't even know. So two you know? things I have to say. First and foremost, um, the first thing I have to say is that in all reality, yeah, you brought crime down, but that day it was a big blow. So all the crime that you brought down, which we will acknowledge it as street dudes, and but it wouldn't be acknowledged because one of the biggest players got stabbed up, right? So so it's like this. Cash, but 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 another <laughs> thing is that it, I know it's crazy, but it's life. Right, that's life. I get it. I, I know. I know it, it's crazy, but we have to live in the truth. It's, that's it right. happened. Of course. All the stuff you brought down, I can see it. You brought all the hoods beefing together now. A basketball player. Right. It's, it's just... Right. It went like this. Right. But another thing, do you feel right. bad at all that Paul Pierce said that he was, you know, he suffered from depression after being stabbed? Of course. I mean, look... How does that I make felt... you feel? No, no, I want you to elaborate on that. Yeah. You know, he suffered from depression. He was... he, You know, he sat in the park and he was depressed. He, you know, he he, he was... He, 
he was he woke up in chills and a lot of things pertaining to that. How do you feel about how he felt? I felt that? I felt I felt bad. But I also felt felt bad for Roscoe getting twenty years and still locked up. <laughs> oh, see, no, no, See, I'm gonna keep it. I'm gonna keep it. I'm gonna keep it all the way really, one hundred. Do you really feel like, bad? Of course, man. Are you fifty fifty in or are you with Roscoe in them? Of course, no, 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 no. I can feel bad. I can feel bad for Paul. Shout to Roscoe. But I also feel yeah, free Roscoe. But I also feel bad. He's still locked up. And also free Trev, of course. That he got twenty years in a day for that. It makes twenty years now. Yeah, he's about to come home soon. Finally. I'm saying, look, you know, I felt bad for Paul that happened. And like, and when I seen the thing about him suffering from depression, I'm like, yeah, but you know, again. When you put a butt, Ben, you know, that means you feel bad. Well, no, 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 no. Only because, butt. only because he came and fucking climbed back up and took and came from, I mean, his story is an amazing story. His yes. strength was fucking crazy. So that's the butt. It was like he, yeah, he didn't rest on that. Whatever, if he was depressed, he snapped out of it because he, he's, a, he's a Hall of Fame player. Uh-huh. Yeah, he, he has a ring under his belt. He's, he's, he's definitely one of the top play, 50 players in basketball. So, I mean, shit, that, that's a hell of a story. I just want, you know, there's just three sides to everything. You know what I'm saying? Like, it just isn't, you know, Paul got to heal, those wounds healed, thank God. But you know, you know, Roscoe, Trev still did a lot of time. They served their time for that. So it was an unfortunate situation for everybody all the way around. Okay. So your thing is that and, and you would just you know, you would just wish that Paul Pierce would have kept it real in your opinion. Well, I, I don't think it's not that he didn't keep the real. I just want him to when he does, because like I said, it was the first time I see him do the interview. And I and I and I hope him, he, he sees this and, and and somebody wants to do this, you know, 30 for 30 idea. You know, I was talking to Tyson's people and they was interested, but he would have to sign on. But, it, you know, this is a Boston thing too. And, you know, to show the, the real racism of Boston and like the paradox of all this. But shit, Paul, I mean, listen, like I said, I was a fan. I've been following him after that. We've seen each other a couple of times. But, you know, I just want something to come good out of this and that it's just not wasted you know, Roscoe wasted twenty years and he got all these scars on him. Let's 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 talk like adults here. Cause Paul's from Inglewood. Shit. Paul from the Paul from the hood too. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Inglewood get down. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So let's talk like adults and try to see what the situation is so that it don't happen again. And maybe these kids can and can hear it from a place where they could be like, okay. Because if you glorify it, just be like, yeah, I got stabbed and I went on to, and I was dunking on niggas after that. Mm-hmm. That doesn't do nothing for the kid, you know what I'm saying, that could be in the next town to talk to somebody's chick and he might get stabbed up or he might get shot up. We can avoid things if we look at what happens and and if we're, and if we're real with ourselves, like you said. And because, you know, at the end of the day, shit, you know, you know, sitting there watching that shit was crazy because I watched it. I sat there for however long it took for that shit to happen and just watched it. But so many fights happen like that in Boston. And it's a regular thing. So I, but, but I didn't, man, he didn't look like, I remember, I remember his coat. He had a, a, a camel skin leather coat on. I remember it. I, he just didn't look like him. Like, you know what I'm saying? When you see him on fucking TV with a basketball, he didn't look like him with that leather coat. I'm like, he did not look like him. If I knew it was him, I'd have ran over there and grabbed them niggas. There's no question. I've done it before. I've hopped in front of guns with with rival niggas is beefing because I knew right. both sides. Right. right in front. Mm-hmm. When niggas pull out and like, hey, 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 hey. I've done that a few times. So it would have been no problem to do that. You know what I'm saying? It would have been no problem. And I wish I had the chance to do it. What was the vibe when you saw him the first time? When you saw Paul Pierce the first time after that happened? Oh, man, it was, what up? You know what I'm saying? It was cool. Second time I was at a game in Miami, he was like, what up? I was close, but sitting behind the um, things. And then I remember one time I was at a club and he reached over and like grabbed my shoulder or something. And it was always cool, you know, but, you know, we really never got a chance to talk about it. That's why, like I said, I think a 30 for 30 about that would be dope. Because, Respect. you know. Who do you think is the victim in that situation? Oh, everybody, everybody, and who Paul and the guys who've been locked up? Everyone locked was a victim, of course, okay. because because you know Roscoe's beefing with somebody. Of course, things. Oh, Roscoe's beefing. 
Let me jump no, in. No, understood. I just want to you know. No, but I'm just saying. Okay. So it's not like, you know, it was just everything was circumstance. Roscoe's beefing because he's thinking that Paul's trying to holler at his chick. And Paul's like, man, fuck you or whatever. And then they beefing. But it's all over the chick. Mm. It's all over a decision.